in this video I'm going to show you exactly why impact position is not a position and it's actually a movement that you're passing through in the golf swing. And if you're approaching it as trying to get into a certain position, that's one of the reasons why you are struggling so much to get that good impact. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's get right into how we have a good impact position. So guys, just like we said in the intro there, impact is not a position. It is how you're moving through the bottom of your golf swing is what creates an impact position. We're not trying to really manufacture this move because what we've got to know in a downswing, one, that's the fastest part of our golf swing. But even so, right here at impact is the absolute fastest part of our golf swing full stop. So us trying to do this at impact is going to do nothing. It's going to do absolutely nothing. It's going to waste your time doing it. So I see a lot of golfers out on the driving range, you know, perhaps in this impact position. And I can guarantee none of them even get in that position or remotely close. Because what you need is you need your body to do certain things to be able to get in that good impact position. So there's three things you really need to do. You need to have good rotation. As we know, when you rotate, you're going to naturally put shaft lean on the golf, on the on impact there. What we also want, we want lateral movement. So you're shifting onto your lead side in the downswing. That will also let you cover that golf ball, which will also give you more shaft lean. And the next one as well is club face control. So we need that club face to be nice and square coming down into impact because that will enable that shaft lean and that good compression going into that golf ball to really result in a good, good golf shot. Because if we're open with that club face coming down, that's going to really ruin our chance of having a good impact position because then we'll need to add loft onto it to just to square up the club face and hit the ball where we want to. So none of it has been trying to physically manipulate it. We just want to hit these certain things in there to be able to get this movement every time. Once they are in there, you will do it every single time. So let's run through these three with three drills you can do for each one of them that will get you in a good impact position. So let's start with that club face first because that club face is ultimately the most important thing. There's a saying among golf instructors that club face is king because club face really encourages you to do when it's correct so many good things in the golf swing just happen naturally so what we're going to do i'm going to show you a really cool drill here which is going to really click in your mind of how important club face is to get in a good impact position it's massive so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to hit a shot and you're going to see from slow motion i'm going to make my club face very very open and i'm going to try and get in a good impact position so here we go very open club face through my golf swing and I was trying to hit the ball to my target. So I chunked that shot there. You're gonna see from the front on, I got in a very, very poor impact position. So now I'm gonna do the exact opposite. I'm actually gonna make my club face very strong for just to show you this example of the effect club face has. So I'm gonna get up to the top of my golf swing or let's say half swing, and I'm gonna close the club face quite a lot. From here, I'm just gonna swing through, try to hit the ball dead straight in the net in front of me. You're gonna see from the front on what my impact position looks like. So I'm gonna get up. This is a good drill to do. Get up, twist the face, rotate. So you're gonna see there from that front on how crazy different of an impact position that was. One had no shaft lean on it, and I was quite cramped through the golf ball just to square up the face because of the open club face. The next one was because I had quite a strong club face, I had to rotate, get all this shaft lean on that golf ball just to hit the ball down my target line. So that tells you just by me trying to hit the ball straight, that impact just became a moment in time for me to hit the ball to where I wanted to. There was no point of that where I was thinking of leaning that shaft forward. I was thinking to hit the ball to my target with that, and that was getting me in that impact position. But do we need a very, very strong club face? No, we don't. That's just an example of what club face does to your impact position. I would always advocate guys for a square club face. Like I've said in many of my videos before, you could be doing it from various different ways. You could have a cupped left wrist opening up your club face. You could have a very weak grip. You could be rolling your forearms. That's where you need to film yourself on camera or have a lesson and really make sure you know why that club face is open up if it's, that is your problem. So next one here, shifting in a downswing, really getting on to your lead side as you're really getting in that downswing movement there. So this again can massively, massively ruin your chances of having a good impact position. So really from there, if I'm a golfer who very much hangs back on the golf ball, 
and I don't shift my weight. See, I'm not going to get any shaft lean. I'm not going to be able to compress the ball, so I'm not going to get into my good impact position there. So we want to be making sure, because the golf swing is a dynamic movement, we want to be making sure we move onto our lead side. So what I'm going to do, just like that club face here, I'm going to hang back on this ball like anything, and you're going to see a very poor impact position from the slow motion. That would have gone extremely high, that shot. I think I turned my eight iron into a sandwich there. But you're going to see from that front on, absolutely just a very, very poor impact position there. So now let's do an opposite here. And this is just like before with the club face, a little drill you can do almost as well to really make sure you're getting this move quite right. So if you very much struggle with shifting your weight, this is a brilliant one here. So what we're going to do, we're going to set up to the golf ball like normally. I'm going to now get my left foot, bring it over to my right. I'm going to put my club down at the middle. Now I'm going to swing through and I'm going to step through the golf shot. You're going to see from that front on that slow-mo again, how much better of a dynamic movement through that ball that was, how much better kind of impact position I got into. A lot more shaft lean, got my pressure into my left side. And I'll tell you what, that strike felt awesome. That felt really, really good. So again, many reasons why you could be hanging back, but just generally we need to make sure if that is a problem for you, get that weight onto that left side. You're hitting towards the target. You need to move through there. Imagine again, you're like looking at someone like Gary Player. What did he do when he was coming through the golf shot? He started walking down the target, didn't he? So that's how extreme you can feel this. You could extreme this feel so much and it won't really negatively impact you that much at all. Make sure you're shifting in there. You've got to be able to do it to get in that good impact position. So the third one here, rotation. Now this is the holy grail with getting in a good impact position and really having a good impact through that golf ball. Because when we rotate, we really, that's what creates the chunk of that shaft lean, that compression into the golf ball. That mixed with the other two, the shifting end, the club face being under control. The club face needs to be under control to be able to rotate. That we're just going to have all that rotation, all that impact is just going to happen naturally. So again, let's do the same thing. Let's see what it looks like without much rotation. So I'm going to hit one. I'm going to shut my body off. I'm just going to swing it with my arms, to be honest. So you're going to see very, very poor. And you're going to see I just didn't really finish my swing at all. Quite hard for me to not really hit a golf ball without rotating. But you can see there from the slow-mo again, nothing. Poor, wasn't it? Really, really poor. Now, I didn't even shift at all either, you can see in that. So let's now do what we've done before. Let's really rotate. Let's get a drill in here. If you struggle with rotation, do this drill. I've done this probably now probably 70 times on my channel, I probably could imagine. I've done this drill so much, preset rotation impact drill. If you've watched a lot of my videos, you knew exactly what I was gonna tell you to do, because it is the best by far. So what we need to do from here, let's get in, funnily enough, an impact position. Funnily enough, saying it's not a position and we're gonna start off in an impact position, but this is gonna encourage us to get the movement. So what's an ideal impact position? If you're watching this, you probably already know. Rotate those hips, rotate that chest, get your weight on your left side, have that side bend in here. So this is what a lot of you guys are practicing, thinking you're gonna get in this when you actually hit a golf ball. What we're gonna do from here, we're gonna swing and hit the ball from this position. So let's swing back and through. So from that slow-mo there, you could really see from that preset impact drill that because I was setting up at that impact, it made it a lot easier for me to really repeat that rotated impact kind of position there. This could really be a one, if your club face is under control anyway, that can really, you could do for all of these kind of keys because you need that weight to be on that left side at the same time. But you can see at how good my impact position was there from the slow-mo. I really got in that good position and I just swung back and through from there. And I had that shaft lean, my weight was on my left side. My club face was obviously square because it would be from that as well. And it was just a good impact position, but it was because I was having those good things in my golf swing and I was just moving through it, wasn't I? I was just moving through that position there. So guys, as we can see there, don't try and manufacture that position. Only way you can try and do that is by doing the preset impact drill, but that's because you're moving through the movement rather than just trying to statically do it. So as you can see there, it is a thing that just happens in motion. Now, if this video was really helpful for you, now please click that like button. It really helps my channel out a lot. So if you learn a bit about how to get in that impact position, those three things you can do to be able to get in that impact position, liking this video would mean a lot to me. So as well, if you want more golf instruction just like this, hit that subscribe button hit that bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So really get these three keys in there. Rotation, lateral, club face. You're going to be getting in an impact position naturally in no time.